Hello everyone, this is a meme build I made because I was fed up with Archive Petra Domain giving me EM artifacts. Yep. So I wanted to show you guys how good or bad an EM build Geo character is at the moment of this recording of course. At the moment, Crystallize and Shatter are the only two reactions Geo can do, so I'll be showcasing these two reactions. First, it's going to be Crystallize Shields of the same element as the enemy attack. In this case, it's going to be Tartaglia's Ultima Celestial Voyager and Ultima God Arrow. After that, I'll showcase shields of different elements than the enemy attack. I'll also showcase how the J element resonance and the 4 element resonance affect the shields. First, it's going to be a Hydro Shield versus the first phase Celestial Voyager. As you can see, it had no problem in tanking it. Moving on to the third phase, God Arrow. Let's see what happens. No problems at all. But what about an ordinary damage shield? Will you be able to tank it? at all. Before testing against the Celestial Voyager, let's see how much damage it deals first. It's 14,480. Now let's see if the Hydro Shield can tank it. That's a big oof. But you might say, but Kuro, Barbara picked up the shield and not Zhongli. Let's see if anything changes if Zhongli picks up the shot before Barbara. Nope, still the same. So you could say it depends from the elemental mastery of the current character. So what about Riptide? Will the shield reduce any amount of damage coming from that? Let's find it out, shall we? Oh, not at all. We got riptide to death. Thanks, Barbara. Also, let's check how much is the actual damage from the god arrow. 12,670. Now, moving on to four elemental resonance. Will it be better or will it be worse than two geo? Six hundred thirty-eight. Wow, that was actually much better. What I think happened is that the fifteen percent elemental resistance from the four elements resonance got added to the shield absorption. That's why it was able to tank much more. Now moving on to different elemental damage. Let's see how this Hydro Shield fares against these Electro Slashers. Also, here's the damage without any shields. As you saw, the damage was around 5.3 thousand. And the damage we took was only 62. So we could assume that the shield's SP was around 5,000. Moving back to first phase, will the Pyro Shield be able to absorb the Veil? Four thousand nine hundred and seventy five damage. <laughs> How about the third phase whale? Nine thousand hundred and twelve. The same damage as we saw with the Dark Leap from earlier with the Hydro Shield. 
video footage. So going back to four elements, how is it going to be? Six thousand hundred and eleven damage. Seven thousand six hundred and forty. That is still much less than what we got with two jail. So what did we learn from today's adventure? That EM jail sucks. Especially because the shield strength depends from the current character's elemental mastery. So unless we get a geo supers, elemental mastery on geo characters is pretty much useless. But all of that was about crystallize. What about shatter? The other elemental reaction that Geo has that everybody forgets about. Here's a clip against Masanori's first phase. Because the second phase you cannot freeze. So you cannot shatter. Enjoy. And see you all in the next Strongly's meme build. Yeah. 